And yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back with another exciting podcast today. Of course, like we tweeted and Instagram, the Beyond Swanky Podcast, we're officially back into the studios of Swanky Studios. I know a lot of people did ask us, where have we been today? You know, we were supposed to do KOP Aftermath is what people are saying. And of course, uh, we, we, we got to let y'all know, sometimes we busy. Right. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way as well, y'all. But yes, uh, this this past weekend has been a, a glorious weekend. Uh, we went to a fashion gala and model competition over Saturday uh, in Atlanta. Of course, we've been in the editing session since yesterday. So all day yesterday, all day today and a little bit of tomorrow, we're going to be doing some editing. Right. When a client comes in and they say, hey, we want you to film, we want KLP Entertainment to film this gala, this fashion show, this fashion competition, if you will. And, you know, they, they say, hey, can you can you film it? Can you edit it? Can you get it together? And that's what our studios and that's what our business does. Right. So uh, we apologize. Honestly, we do. We apologize to our fan base. I know a lot of people were, were looking forward to KLP Aftermath today. But when we have clientele, when we're doing something huge over the weekend, then when it comes Monday, we, we don't we just don't have time, right? When it comes down to KLP Aftermath, there's a whole production that goes in with that. Um, we've been doing that. And also, we've been gearing up for tomorrow night because tomorrow night we're going to be doing the heat because tomorrow night is oxford college uh basketball season opener of course i'll be watching and observing so that way i can formulate my thoughts and then tomorrow night we're going to come here in the studio and talk about it so of course we've got a lot of great things coming guys uh we've got today's podcast we've got the heat tomorrow and we just got a whole lot of great things coming up within this week as well. So uh, I apologize. We all apologize if you guys were looking forward to KLP Aftermath and you didn't see it today. Um, you know, this is it's gonna be that week where we're in the editing uh, editing room, editing for a lot of clients. Well, um, believe it or not, we do get clients. You know, we get clients that come and they they want to use our services. So. Those are paying customers, if you will. So yes, we have to uh, we have to cater to to our business just a little bit. You know, we have to make sure our clients are happy first when it comes down to it because they're helping us fund these these kind of shows, right? You know, you get clientele, you get sponsors, and then you you do your your associate work. Of course, Kennedy Lucas and Associates is a part of our our brand. You know, we we gotta we gotta make money to, to we gotta make money to spend money to make more money. So. Um, again, I do apologize. So if you guys were looking forward to that, um, KLP Aftermath. But you guys get this awesome show instead, the Beyond Swinky Podcast. We've got Monica and T and Coco up in the studio. T, how you doing, man? You good? Yeah, we good. We good. It's good to be back in Swinky Studios to do another exciting podcast today. Uh, yeah, hey, like Kennedy said, y'all, sometimes we, we get we get a little busy, right? We, clientele's come in sponsorships come in we filmed uh and i was with you actually at emory uh atlanta where we were filming the advertisements for the hype and uh you know hard line second term so excited for that movie to come out next year and then of course uh later on within this year street style new york culture uh of course your your documentary, Kennedy. Of course, I had a little something to do with that. Producer work comes out, so yes, it is true. We we are busy, um, Kennedy, and I agree with you on that one. But it's good to be back in the studio. It's good. Yeah, and hey, it, it, T, you said it best, man. We we be busy, but we got another exciting one for tonight. Of course, we've got Coco. Of course, back into the studio to grace us with his presence with another topic of conversations. Coco, what's going on, man? You good? What the fuck is popping? Really talk to people nicely who know their standards. People get mad when you know your standards. Let's talk about that. Yes, let's talk about it. Of course, if you guys don't have you haven't seen the title of this podcast, yes, we are talking about having standards. Of course, we have standards. I have standards. We all have standards. Uh, T, you got standards. And we're going to dissect and how we feel about having standards when talking to someone 
or really getting to know someone for sure. So we're going to talk about it here tonight beyond Swanky Podcast. I am somebody who got astronomically high standards. But I think they are 100% reasonable. I will, for example, I will, you know, list, list some things that I like in a female. Beautiful, beautiful lips. They are clean. Fun. Love to dance. Like music. And cook. Eager to learn. Adventurous, likes the outdoors. Creative. Funny. Know what I mean? These are just some things that you like in someone. So my list is kind of the same, almost the same as yours. Um, I like someone who is first pretty, uh, smart. For me well educated and the reason why i say that and i know we're going to dissect more on the podcast tonight but i dissect more educated a little bit more simply because and it's no secret i've been spilling this on our shows for for months now i'm a grad student so i need someone who has that same not the level of going back to school, right? Because a lot of people after undergrad, they don't go back to school and get a master's. That, that's not what I'm saying. But I need someone to be street smart and book smart at the same time. And I know that's that's a little tough, right? But I need somebody who is smart enough to know right from wrong. I need somebody who is smart to know um, their, their goals, right? What do they want to achieve after grow well while growing up and after getting a degree like I, I don't if you don't got a master's degree I'm not gonna like say no because you don't have a master's degree that's not what I'm saying but I need somebody smart enough to know okay what's your plan right do you have one um outdoor adventurous I like I would have a standard for someone to take me for who I am again I know we're gonna dissect more Coco on the podcast but um to really understand me Right. Me being the, the, the funny one, the, the corny one. Right. The 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 sensitive one. Right. Taurus Bull born May 12th. I'm a Taurus. We're very sensitive. All in the great in the right reasons. Um, I would like someone prefer someone uh, that knows how to cook. Right. You said it best, Coco. You, you love somebody who's know how to who know how to cook. Um, now, if you're talking about body type. Because you said big lips. Yeah, I, I like big lips too. I do. Um, I prefer my women to be, you don't have to be super skinny, right? You don't have to be super skinny in that regard. Um, I like my women thick, right? If you're thick in all the right places, yes. If you are skinny but not too skinny, yes. I've seen women where they're, good gosh, they're too skinny for me. And it's just kind of like, uh, I don't know, will, will it hurt when we go down? You know, so um, that's that's my, my preference when it comes to, to women. Uh, clean, like you said, Coco, you prefer someone clean. I, I, I need someone clean. Um, adventurous, um, conversation starter, right, that likes to have good conversations. Intellectual. Um, I, I would prefer someone with ambition, um, caring, kind, um, not too out there, if you know what I mean, not too loud, right? Because I, 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 I don't prefer a woman to be extremely loud where it's, you know, an attitude thing. I, I, I can't, women with attitude, mm -mm, right? Because I'm always trying to stay positive, Coco, um, yeah, I think that's that's my list. Uh, T, what's your list? Look at y'all trying to sound all nice and, and, and correct here on the podcast. 
I like big booty, big thigh. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, my list is the same as, as you guys. Uh, smart, pretty, beautiful, ambitious, clean, <laughs> please. Uh, I've seen some, some horror stories where I went to a woman's house and, you know, shit everywhere. Uh, clean for me. Um, like you say, Kennedy, um, because I also, you guys know, this is, I don't know if y'all know this, but I also got my bachelor's degree in business as well. Um, not in grad school though, but, um, very ambitious, right? I need someone smart. I need someone educated. Like you said, Kennedy, it, they, they have to have street smart and book smart for me. Um, likes to hustle, likes to make money. Um, that's one at uh, me being your CFO for KLP entertainment. Obviously I need someone who's financially smart in that, in that game. And I, I would say that's, that's my list. But then of course there are the things that you will not tolerate from people too. And these would be your standards. Okay. For example, if I'm, if we're having an argument and I'm talking and you're yelling, mm. you can't do that. Not with me. I even clock myself because I have the tendency, I get heated sometimes. You know what I mean? I get heated. I get frustrated quickly. You know, I get heated sometimes, but you know. There are times where, you know, I've, I've learned, I've learned that if I'm super heated and they're not, let me take it down a notch. Let me chill the fuck out, Ramage, you know, and let's talk on the same level, you know. That is true. Um, I've had it to where I've been in arguments with, uh, flames that I've had not not girlfriends but just kind of like I'm talking to a girl but you know we're not boyfriend and girlfriend we're just a little flame thing um I agree with you Coco I do and I I think it stems for me because of me having PTSD right um I don't like loud noise right it, it's it freaks me out when I if it's a sudden loud noise it, it freaks me out right and I've I've heard I've been in situations where people are yelling and screaming uh to where it annoys me it does so when it comes to my girl I, I make sure i don't scream at her right because you don't know if we're in the house and our neighbor you know if i'm yelling let's say for an example if, if me and monica and god forbid monica but uh, this is an example but if me and monica ever got into an argument she comes over and we get into an argument and I'm yelling, I'm screaming, she's yelling and screaming. They're going to think it's something domestic violence is going on. And then the cops are going to get called, right? So I, that's one thing I try to make sure I don't do. If we're arguing, you know, I make sure. And this, this was a trick that I learned, me being back in college, I was an RA. And this was a trick, Coco and T. And T, you, I remember telling you this story. Uh, it's a trick that I do, right? Let's say if you and your girl is having a heated um conversation right and she's yelling and the first thing i and i agree with you coco i like i said in my if you have an attitude you just loud mm -mm, mm -mm, i i can't i can't handle it i can't date you because that this shows a lot in your character if you're loud and your your attitude and you're not nah, mm -mm, nah. if you're embarrassing me you're d uh es you're escalating the situation and you're uh, uh, you're challenging my manhood a little bit nope can't do it but here's a trick to it. Let's say if 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 I'm arguing and, and she's yelling, I'm yelling. I talk like this, right? I, I talk at a nice, calm voice. And she is yelling at me, but I'm like, yeah, I'm right here. I'm, I'm right here at your level. I'm just trying to talk to you. She don't know what the hell you're saying, so she's going to calm down, right? She's going to calm down, and she's going to be like, well, wait, what, what are you saying? <laughs> you know, that's a trick. That is a trick. It's not, and gentlemen, try it, right? It's not you being what is called being a pussy, right? It's never that situation. But if she's loud, she's on on 10, and you bring your volume to about 
four, right? She's so loud. She only hearing herself. You don't even, she don't even know what you're saying. She'll calm down and things calm down. Now, I try to make sure I don't argue with my girl, no matter if she pisses me off, right? No matter if it's something that she's completely in the wrong, I make sure to avoid arguments because that's confrontation and I don't handle confrontation well. Like you said, Coco, I have an anger issue and I've been working on my anger issues as of late, right? If, if anybody knows me personally, I have uh, ten, temper tantrums before. I've had anger issues before where I'm just mad, right? Because I'm stubborn. So I've, I've learned and meditating is one hell of a thing too because it, it really taught me how to not um not be so angry right not to be so angry at things right because life is too short so and coco you've seen me mad before because we met before and t you've always seen me mad when i'm mad i'm mad right don't 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 mess with me when i'm mad right my fam, my siblings know don't mess with lucas when he's mad right because i i'm cussing folks out i'm punching things like i'm mad so Again, like I say, guys, meditation is one hell of a thing because it helps. Um, so I'm trying to see where, where, where am I driving to this? Yes, I always try to make sure I don't have an argument with, with my girl because it, it just it, it works when you don't have an argument. Do not disrespect me. Don't waste my time. But like that, these are standards. These are basic, simple standards. Whether you are a, in a romantic relationship Friends with benefits, platonic friendship, whatever it may be, you know. Whatever it may be, these are just simple, basic standards that you should have. But there are people out there who will get mad at you for having standards for yourself. You know what I mean? There are people who have gotten away for so long with disrespecting people and wasting people's times and treating people like shit that they get mad at you for having standards now i know it is probably tempting not for me but i know for a lot of y'all it's probably tempting to just give in and be like yeah you know like honestly like i was overreacting but i'm here to tell you no the fuck you not you not overreacting. Stop doing that fuckery, bro. Stop doing that shit. The only Gaza is in Jamaica. Yod, you know? You can't be doing no Gaza with that, you know? You can't be doing them things. You can't do that because them people are gonna step up on you with their Air Forces. They're gonna walk up on you with the Thames. And a brush their vans on your forehead. You don't want that. You don't want people doing that to you. So you got to make sure that you have these standards set for yourself. So that no one else can be breaking these standards. And you have to stick with them. You can't just say that you have these standards. You have to stick with them. Now I think I have now developed a surefire proof way to... Stopping people from breaking my standards. I'm going to share you my secret. I love secrets. Can't wait. If I, if you ask me, hang out. And I make time for you because we're all busy. And you'll see this on, if you watched the previous episode, um, you're not that busy you'll know you'll know exactly what i mean by this that we all busy you're not special i'm not special we all be busy we all have shit to do so we all need to make time you know what i mean we all need to make time and it, it, you're right it's good to make make time not only just for your girlfriend boyfriend your flame however uh i always try to make sure i, have, I make time for my friends right um, my friends getting ready to, if my friends are getting ready to, to go out to dinner or we're doing something, I got to make sure I have, I make time, right? Because, uh, little side note, you know, when you're busy and you're working, you're hustling, you want to make time for your loved ones. You want to make time for your friends because it shows that you have more of a social life outside of work, you know, 
and especially for those married couples where if you're married you're kind of tied down to that that special one but then your friends want to go hang out and you say oh well i'm married i can't do that i can't go out make time so if i make time for you you flop on me last minute that's gonna be the last time you see me i hope you know that that's gonna be the last time that you ever hear from me again. Now I know you're probably like, whoa, Coco, Coco, calm the fuck down. Triple C's, you know? Coco, Coco, calm the fuck down. What do you mean? Bro, you I I thought they called you Ramage, you know? Like, chill, what what's going on? There's you come a certain point in your life where your time is too valuable. To be giving it up for people to be doing shit like that. Because you can't do that. I know some of y'all remember when this was Seckle and Simmer, you know. And, you know, I've had an episode talking specifically about why people, you can't let people waste your time. But ironically, I was still letting people waste my time back then. Now I do not do that. And I cannot do that. And I will not do that. Because my time is valuable. And so is yours. So you need to make sure that ain't nobody fucking around your shit. Again, they flop on you last minute. Just know that that was the last minute for them to ever see you again. There are some people who maybe you think, Oh, well, you know, for a long time, they've built up credibility. This and that, yada, yada, yada. And that's good and almighty, you know. That's that's terrific, you know. Jaws my witness. I agree with that. I even say this myself a lot of the time. I even have given people the benefit of, of the doubt because, you know, in the past they were there for me or in the past they made time. But you know what niggas don't do? Live in the past. Every second. Every minute, every hour, every day, we get older, you know? We get older. We don't get younger. So we're never truly living in the past. You only live in the present. So in present day, if I'm looking, and I'm like, wow, this person has not been showing me that they rate me, then you know what? They don't rate you. I agree with us getting um, the same you made, Coco. We're getting, we're getting older. Um, like you mentioned, you know, our time is precious. Um, I know anybody who knows us, KOP Entertainment. You know, everybody, our time is precious. I agree. I get pissed when my time has been wasted for silly shit. Right. Um. I hate it when my time gets wasted because as I get older and and I've got deadlines and I got things I want to do, things I need to achieve. And, you know, I because I've I've had it to where I had old flames again, flake on me. Oh, I want to spend time with you, Kennedy. Oh, I want we we should we should link up. Okay, cool. Let's, you know, let's link up. But then it's like, oh, well, I can't do it this day. Or when the day comes, I'm I'm excited to see that special someone. Oh, I'm sorry, my uh my cat died, or or no, I'm sorry, my grandma. I, I need to take my my grandma to her appointment. Or it's always a uh I'm sorry, I won't be able to make it. I, I have something come up. Right, and uh, the tr- true statement, guys. This stuff has happened to me now. It hasn't happened to me lately, but. Back in the past, where I'm talking to what to women, and we well, are gonna link up. Oh, I got something come that came up. I can't make it. Right as we get older, again, we're 26, 27, 28. You know, we're we're 25. <laughs> I see you, Monica. I know. Uh, as we get older, again, we, hey, we're too busy. Right, it's the last time you're you're wasting my time. Right, because. I, and I think, too, Coco, it's a maturity thing. I'm always going to relate to it's a maturity thing, that phrase, because I honestly think it's a maturity thing, right? 
we're getting closer to you know we're in our late twenties now, and before we know it, I'll be we'll be thirties, right? In about what four years now? Four years, I'll be thirty. It's scary to think about, but I will be. And as I get older, you realize like okay, I don't have to. I, I don't want to waste time with Sally Sue. Right. I don't want to waste my time of someone who is not there. Right. And that's something we do in our friend circle too. my my squad. We have a circle where we all make time. Right. There's 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 certain examples where maybe um, we won't be able to make it. Right. Case in point, we're going and shout out to Keyshawn. He's getting ready to graduate in December. And uh, the group is going down there for his graduation. Now, unfortunately, I said, hey, I can't make it. Um, because at Emory, we're, we're very swamped in December because we've got a wrap. We got events. We're wrapping up for the, the semester, et cetera. You know, we 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 also make sure we make time for each other. Right. We've had friends that were in our outer circle in our other outer circle. Well, they they never come around. Right. We invite friends to this shindig or this kickback or whatever it is. And it's always every time. Nope, I can't make it. Every time. So again, folks, you got to make time. And this is not just, I'm just bringing my squad in for an example. But whether it's your dating life, you got to make time. Because if you don't make that time, then it's wasted. Right? And again, as we get older, we don't like our time being wasted. I, I sure as hell don't. I tell I tell a lot of friends that and a lot of uh, colleague, work colleagues that don't waste my time. Because I, I hate that. That's a pet peeve of mine. Don't waste my time. If you want, if you don't want to fuck with me, you don't want to rock. Okay, fine. Don't waste my time. Right? Because I could have that time. I could have been spent on somebody else who made time. Right? And it's that simple. You have to remember this. You have to know this. That they just simply don't rate you. You're not important. You're not a priority. You're not special. You know people. You know what people who rate you do. They tell you a week in advance. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it. They ask you to reschedule a week in advance. That's what they do. They don't tell you an hour before. They don't tell you a few seconds before. Unless a nigga is dying, giving birth, or both. There's no reason as to why. It's got to be some family emergency. It's got to be something life-threatening. It's got to be something like life or death. If you're not there for that, then the world is about to end, you know? Because other than that, you knew from time, bro. You checked your work schedule from time. You knew that you had other plans. You knew that other shit was going on. You chose... To do this thing that we like to call double dipping, bro. Now picture you and a group of friends. You're eating chips and dip. Okay? And you're all reaching in the same bowl. COVID, no COVID. Monkeypox, no monkeypox. Malaria, no malaria. STI, no STI. You're all reaching from the same fucking bowl, dog. Damn. <laughs> and then that one person. We all know a nigga who does this. They reach in, take a chip, dip it in, lick their fingers. They stick their whole fucking hand in their, in their mouth because they're disgusting and they're weird. And they go back in and they're digging deep, of course. And, the, and of course, they're the same people who got to dig deep for the chip them. They have to dig deep in there, too. Sifting around, getting their sticky, wet saliva hands all over every crumb and crevice of every chip. And dip it in again. Do you, A... Punch that fucker in the face, or do you be punch that piece of shit in the fucking face because you don't do that? This is similar to having double plans. 
you're sitting here saying, yeah, I'm going to be there. Yeah, I'm giving you my time. Yeah, your time is not going to be wasted. Hey, me, but you're wasting my time. By having other plans, you can't do that. And if people are doing that to you, you know, what did I say? You got to stop that shit from happening. You can't, you can't let the, them do that to you, bro. Like, what are you? You're a bitch? Like, let's keep it real for a second. Are you a bitch? Are you a bitch? Maybe you, maybe you're someone who likes to use the three strike system. That's okay. I used to, you know, there used to be someone that I hung out with a lot. I loved hanging out with them. I would love it when they messaged me. I would love it when they, they put in that work. And I would just love to be around them. You know, we have good chemistry for years and years and years. I haven't seen them in months, you know. And it's because... That disrespectful shit, bro. I couldn't let myself be disrespected anymore. I had to keep it a buck with myself. Not with them. With myself. And be like, yo, like, honestly, this person clearly doesn't rate you the way you rate them. They don't rate me the way that I rated them. So I had to... On an OT Genesis thing, you know, had to cut it, you know, had to cut that shit off. And it's true. Cutting things off is is the best way. I, I've learned for the last two years to cut certain things off that I I, I did. Right. And, it, and it's hard. Right, Coco? It's hard to cut things. When you're in the habit of something and you want the best of people. And you want the, the absolute best of somebody. The absolute best of your character. It's hard. I actually was talking to my mom about the same kind of thing. About cutting our certain habits off. When it comes to dealing with other people. Right? Because if you don't cut things off. The things you, you did. For for other people. Or with other people. Uh, you know. You, you end up getting miserable. Right? And those type of girlfriends. Boyfriends. Friends. That don't rate you like you mentioned or or don't value you but then they kind of want you to be there that that is what's formed and what's called taking advantage of right so i've had to learn how to cut my 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 habits of, of for doing stuff for people or for a girl or for uh you know family members you know i had to cut that stuff off um, so I know to not be taken advantage of because they don't rate you. They don't value you. And like I say, it's hard, right? A lot of us, we are nice in this world. And sometimes they, there's a saying, sometimes we're too nice in this world, right? Because we're too nice because we want to give them a chance. We want to give them opportunity. But when you give them opportunity and they, they fail on you, now you feel bad, right? You feel like a disadvantage. You feel like you've been taken advantage of. You don't feel good. Right. You feel hurt. You feel the sadness. You feel the loneliness. Um, And nowadays, and I encourage a lot of people, if you're feeling that way towards people in general, yes, cut, cut, cut them off. Right. And it's going to sting. Right. It's not going to tickle. But when you cut people off, you feel more freed. Right. You feel more positive. You feel like, okay, we we have. Uh, we have a mutual relationship, but I know you're not taking advantage of me, either physically, mentally, or financially, right? Honestly, like, you know, like, it, and it, it, it is, you know, it sounds easier than it is, but once you do it, it becomes easier, you know? It becomes so much easier. Life becomes so much easier. It becomes clear, you know? Cause I'm very about my shit, bro. I do too much shit. As you all know, I do too much shit. You know, I'm making content for y'all. I'm doing shit for myself. I'm doing my writing. Trying to get a rap career going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really not sitting here trying to, you know, babysit. Or having to understand why someone else keeps dissing me. Know what I mean? 
And that's just, you know, again, I'm keeping it three, three hundred, you know, I just, you got to keep it 100% real. That's all it is. People sit here and waste your time and take you for granted. How do you feel when you hang out with this person? Because that's similarly, you know, I mean, like, how do you feel when you hang out with this person? Is this person just constantly dissing you? Is this person a bad influence? Does this person support your dreams? Do you have a business and this person isn't rating you, buying from you, you know, putting in that work to support you? Like, how do you feel when you're around them? Because if it's anything but pleasant or comfortable or happy, uh, again, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but... You know, just something to to think about still because there really isn't any point. Like I said, we just, we're all getting older every single day. And life, you know, you know what life does? It gets harder. Pause. So if this is the case, then why are we sitting around? Why are we sitting around allowing that, you know? Like, why are we really sitting around just allowing that and doing that shit? Because I I personally, uh, I'm not about that. I personally, just me on a personal level, I'm not about that. Not anymore. Not youth anymore, so I'm not about that, you know? So you shouldn't, you shouldn't be about that either. <laughs> To be real with you. I think it's, and this is what I think based off my, what what I've seen. Um, I feel like people are allowing that because they feel like, uh, this person is taking advantage of me and it's not right. Ra- this person's not rating me right, but this is the only person that's actually paying attention to me. So I'm just going to allow it. Right. Or as human beings, we, we want to be loved. Right. We want someone to like us. Well, whoever she is, whoever for my gentleman, if you're if you're in the community, if you want that boy to like you, same thing with my girls in the community. If you want that girl to like you, uh, yes, there are certain girls that I know in my mind. I want them to like me, right? It's human nature that we want to be liked and loved by somebody, right? But as you say, pause, go go, because as I get older, yeah, if she doesn't like me, fine. Right. I'm not going to go to the house and cry about it. Right. I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm not going to think about, man, why does she not like me? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move on. I say, oh, OK, she doesn't like me. All right, cool. Right. So I feel that this is my opinion, guys. I feel that, you know, we want to be liked by so much. Maybe that that one person I want to I want her to like me. So, of course, She's taking advantage of me, but she's the only one that's actually fucking with me right now. So I'm just going to allow it because I and I am afraid to be alone. That's just speculating. That's what I see around here. I've seen again. I've seen it to where my not my super close friends, but I've seen outer circle friends, colleagues that, hey, I'm with this person because even though they treat me like shit right now, that's the only person that's really feeling me like that right now. That's giving me that attention. So I'm going to allow it, which is a sad thing to think about. And, and it's sad for if you're like that, that's very sad, right? But people are like that. I've had it to where I've known old coworkers, um, old friends that got married, right? Got married to somebody that just doesn't give a shit about them. Could care less. But still showing that person that attention. So I'm stuck with this. But that's the only person that's actually feeling me right now. So I'm going to let her or he vice versa treat me. I'm going to let this person treat me like shit. Because that's the only one that's giving me the attention right now. So I'm just going to allow it. Right? It's a weird dynamic. It's so weird. Like you said, Coco, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I can't rock with that. Right. If I know if my future girlfriend, whoever she is, and I know a lot of people y'all ask about me and Monica and Monica, can I say this? Me and Monica, we 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 open. Right. That's just how we do our thing. Right. But. 
if I'm in an open relationship and I'm looking for someone, if I know that certain someone's taking advantage of me doing this, you know, I, I, and I'm pretty smart at it, 2T. If I know you taking advantage of me, nah, I'm good, fam. Right? Because I know the snake that she is, I'm good. I'm going to break this off. I don't want this. Right? So, again, we, we in this generation, and it's, it's, I see that a lot in, in younger folks, and I, I say that very loosely because we're all very young, but I see that in younger folks, right? But it's odd because I see it in about our age grade too, right? And it's weird to see that in our age grade because, again, we're 26, 27, Monica, no, 25. I'm sorry. I just blasted your age. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're laughing. I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm about to get yelled at after this podcast, but I get it, right? I understand. I understand that it happens, but it's weird that it happens in our age grade because we're we're almost thirty, right? We're grown. We're grown, grown. So it just it's it's, it's weird to me. You know what I mean? This person, you feel drained when you're around them. Are you always hearing them saying shit about you behind someone else's back? Will they ride for you? Are you always paying for for things for them? Not to say that any relationship should be based off of materialistic things or you should be measuring it using specifically those things. But you just take all these things into account. Do they get mad at you when you call them out on their shit, yo? When they're doing that riffraff, do they get cheesed at you? Are they vexed at you for, for calling them out? How many excuses do they have? Count them. You could count people's excuses. Oh, but I. Oh, but I. Oh, but this. Oh, but that. Oh, but this. But, but, but. The only thing you should be doing with that butt is shaking it, shorty. You know what I mean? Like, there should be nothing else. Nothing else. No, no butt to, to exact. Just, you know, shake the butt. How about that? Shake the bumper, bro. Like, I don't want to hear anything else. You know, I don't, I don't want to hear all that other shit. Everything else, that's just, you know, chat to chat. That's just long chat, you know? Long chat and lip service, I don't want to hear it. When you, when you call them out, when you cuss them for it, like, is that how they're moving? Is you should uh, just take that into account when when you're thinking about these things because the, that's how people like to move when they're in the wrong. When you catch them, oh hey, I notice you know like you you like to disrespect the man and them when we're all chilling. Oh well, but I you know I was tired and blah blah blah. If you're tired, you stay the fuck home. Ain't nobody wanna see you. Ain't nobody gonna miss you. Stay the fuck home then. How about that? If you're tired, keep that there. Keep that at home. Don't come here and then take it out on us. Because then after the fact, you're like, oh, it wasn't you guys. Okay, then don't do it to us. You know what I mean? Or do you, or should you get jumped? Or is it one of those ones where you need to be jumped, you know? We could just stomp a nigga out and it could be over. We could take it outside. It could be over. Like, it's whatever, you know? Keep it real with you. <laughs> it, it could just be whatever if, if that's how people want to move but you need to not move that way you need to not let people move that way with you because because you're really just playing yourself like you bitching yourself you really just taking a knife and putting it in your butt you know like because that's really the type of shit you're on you know keep it real with them keep it real with yourself so that you know and don't let people tell you that your standards that you have set your reasonable standards don't let them tell you that that's unreasonable that is true guys and what coco said on tonight's show is absolutely valid so again uh, please don't let people take advantage of you. Have people rate you at a good rate. And just take care of yourself, right? Take care of yourself and really watch out for the people that might call you crazy about you having standards when it comes to relationships. So it could be friendships and 
uh, flame relationship. So we, we we speak nothing but the truth on the Beyond Swinky podcast. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, today's podcast. Please remember to comment below. We have a community forum, of course, on our comment box. We want to hear from you guys. What are your standards? Put it in the comments below because we definitely want to hear and read your feedback for sure. Now, if you're watching the podcast video version on Spotify video or YouTube at KLP Entertainment. Thank you so very much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you guys don't miss out on another new exotic podcast for sure. So don't miss out on that as well. So that's going to wrap it up here, the Beyond Swanky podcast from our cast and crew here. And also, if you're listening on major audio platforms, we're talking Spotify, we're talking uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcast, Stitcher Podcast, iHeartRadio, and so much more. Please share with your friends so that way they can tune in as well. Of course, stay tuned for tomorrow night. We're going to be coming back at Swanky Studios for the Heat broadcast. It's going to be another fun podcast with me and T uh, in the studio as well. Coco, thank you so very much for this story. And thank you for hopping on this pod. I really appreciate you uh, for what you do on your shows and your different uh, venues. But when you come on hit this show, it's always a blast. So thank you so very much. And again, that's going to wrap it up here. The Beyond Swiggy podcast with your cast and crew from KLP Entertainment. I've been your host and moderator for this podcast, KLP Kennedy Lucas. As always, I like to say, stay safe, stay swinky, peace. <laughs>